the weekly. In this week's edition, we'll check out the schedule for Autumn Fest, learn who qualified for Europeans, and reveal our hot diggity dog play of the week. But first, let's check out what's happening in Jaguar country. Looking to be part of National Honor Society here at Siganella Middle High School but forgot to apply? Well, the application deadlines for NHS and NJHS have been extended to Tuesday, October 25th. Be sure to get Mrs. Arnold your applications by then. It's late October, so in addition to pumpkin spice lattes, it's also time for MWR's Autumn Fest. The gates open at 4 o'clock today when you'll be able to enjoy food, carnival rides, the haunted maze, and more. Things will certainly heat up in the evening with the fire performer at 7. If you're on base early Saturday, you can watch the adults take part of the strongman competition starting at 9, followed by the haunted nerf battle at 2. Saturday's Autumn Fest kicks off at 5 when the music, rides, food, and fun all begin. On both Friday and Saturday evenings, you'll be able to catch the musical performances by Sabian, one of our freshmen. Way to represent, Sabian! Need a ride to Autumn Fest? Check out the shuttle schedule on Siganella's MWR Facebook page. The free fest shuttle will be running multiple times between NAS1, Maronite, and NAS2. Next weekend, MWR will be hosting the annual zombie run on Maronite starting at 5 p.m. on Saturday. If you want to take part, be sure to register online at the link below or the hyperlink in our description. Keep that zombie run costume out for trick-or-treating next Monday, October 31st on Maronite. Man, can't wait to go to trick-or-treating. Jaguar fans were certainly treated to loads of tricks this past weekend. We'll find out more about it in this week's Six Sports Report with CJ after this message. The ASVAB. The ASVAB is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. Don't worry if you're not planning on joining the military because anyone can take it. It tests you on 10 different categories that helps you decide on your future careers. Sign up at the front office by October 31st and take your test November 4th after school. Wow, thanks! Can we still get our candy? It was the final home weekend of competition for cross country, tennis, and volleyball. The girls cross country team raced against Marymount and lost by just three points. Kaylee took first with Molly and Layla coming in sixth and seventh respectively. Izzy, who is in eighth grade, would have placed second but didn't score due to her being in middle school. Awesome job, Izzy. In the boys race, Quinton took first against nine other racers while Sladen, who is in eighth grade, came in third. Congratulations to the five runners from our girls team who qualified for Europeans. Kaylee, Molly, Layla, Kayla, and Matea will be representing SIG this Saturday at the European Championships in Baumholder, Germany. Good luck! Over to the tennis courts, where Siganella took on Vicenza. Although the boys lost both their matches, Charlize got the girls in the win column with her three-set victory. Charlize also earned a spot in this year's European Tennis Tournament, which selects just 10 players to compete for the European title. Good luck to Charlize this weekend in Germany. The boys volleyball team kept their winning streak going against Marymount, 3-0. This one was never in doubt, with scores of 25-11, 25-14, and 25-18. If you've been following the boys team this year, you might have noticed that they haven't lost in over a month. They'll put their streak to the test this coming weekend against Rhoda and Nathan. All the way up in the UK, our football team took on Alkenberry for a spot in the semifinals. Siganella ran away with this one, winning 58-37. The win sets up this coming weekend's game in Brussels. Winner of Saturday's game earns a spot in the European Championship game. Good luck, Jags. That's it for this week's edition of the SIG Sports Report. And now back to you, Fabi, for Play of the Week. Fabi? Thanks, CJ. We've all had those moments when we suddenly feel pretty hungry and need a bite to eat. So what do you do if that happens during a volleyball match? Well, let's see how Coach Martinez handled that on Friday night. With the boys' team well in the lead, Coach Martinez disappeared from the bench, headed over to the Boosters Club window, and returned a few points later with a hot dog in hand. Coach finished off his dinner just as the boys finished their set, allowing Coach to get the win, the wiener, and our play of the week. And that's a wrap-up for the weekly. Have a great weekend and have fun at Autumn Fest, Jaguars. <laughs>